new patch incoming and it looks like they are doing it in phases and the way that they've done this in the past is that they've started the ability to pre-download the patch as early as monday and then usually it's all rolled out by wednesday and then it gets turned on on wednesday and it goes i don't know if they're going to continue to do that but we do have some patch notes and we're going to go over the patch notes what's new the charge and effect icons will now display a number on the icon above a character instead of stacking icons vertically and i've already seen this personally inside of when i recorded uh the old man logan gameplay video it, it's very nice a lot of people liked it a lot maximum number of raid sims updated from 10 to 16 for incursion raid 2 first strike in incursion raid 2 and other people are telling me now that the energy cap on rage energy has increased to 60 and that was mentioned in the blog post on friday but it actually for the people that have been able to pre-download the patch, they're currently getting it. It's gone from 50 to 60. Updated character animations for low memory conditions, bug fix. Spider-Man Pav passive was not gaining the correct number of speed up. And then also it's been pointed out that now uh, the awakened abilities are grayed out on the ones that you've completed inside the raid store for the awakened abilities. I know that's something I've been complaining for a long time. And then other people are also telling me that the red dot issue appears to be resolved. I'm skeptical. We will have to see. Also, I have to give a big shout out to Benny Westside. Uh, I did mention in my Alpha Flight video that uh, Wolverine was coming off of Weapon X and going to be going to Alpha Flight and that X-23 uh, was going to go into the Weapon X team. And I wasn't sure what that was going to be but Benny Westside posted on Instagram that X-23 is going to get the Weapon X tag. And then also down here, looks like gain focus. And they added Weapon X right down there for 140% focus. Now, that's a pretty big deal because I think uh, large parts of Omega Red's kit are dependent on having a full Weapon X team. And I think X-23 is going to slot in there very, very nicely. Also... Something I did not put in my Alpha Flight video was the speeds of the characters. And I really didn't give an opinion on the team. I guess I could do that a little bit more now. Wolverine's 117, Sunfire's 98, Guardian's 120, North Star's 127, and Sasquatch is 100. And I, I don't know. I, I tried the team on war offense and it didn't do much. Um, I tried the team in arena and it didn't do much. Um, they were on defense and they were very strong on defense, but I, I was able to beat them with the top, top tippy top teams. And I suspect that once they're in the game, you know, alliances will figure out effective ways to beat that team. Just like infestation, like infestation on the outside seemed very strong on defense and war, but we figured out ways to do it. And I was able to use some combinations of Apocalypse uh, with Superior 6 or uh, Super Scroll. Like I had to use Super Scroll and or Apocalypse on a good team to get through it. And also Mercs for Money got through it. So it wasn't invincible on defense. And the reason why I feel like a lot of people are, are going to buy it, the Alpha Flight, is because of the new Spotlight Raids. But it feels like infestation so a lot of people have been call it alpha station <laughs> with a raid component so that's just my general opinion on it I, i'm not sure that you know they're gonna thrive in crucible unless there's a raid room you know if they remove the raid room then maybe not or maybe they have a room bonus i don't know but anyways i'm i'm pretty lukewarm towards the team in general um but we'll have to we there's a lot of information we don't know we just don't really know um about what's gonna happen is it weird that I'm more excited for X-23 being added to Weapon X than I am for Alpha Flight? Like, I really don't care about Alpha Flight. I get that I, I can't fully skip them because they are needed for the Spotlight Raids. See, this guy knows. Spoiler warning, they would get the absolute least amount of gear possible to beat those raids. But I'm happy so I can put them on War Defense and just ignore them. Especially since any event scope will come out that requires them for the next few months based on their star level, not their gear and levels. But X-23, I built her because she's cool. She is cool. Now I can use her and Wolverine 
with my big nice omega red well wolverine's supposed to go into alpha flight but it really puts some life back into weapon x have some fun yes this guy gets it i love that i absolutely love that now there is an event running right now and they changed this event at the last minute um it was a uh, one blitz battle got one point and you had to do like billions of blitzing and then uh sometime earlier today they corrected it and made it uh 10 points and so this blitz event does not look to be super oppressive as far as being high quantities of blitzing um this spreadsheet is suggesting that it's a total of seven rotations if you have 55 teams and it's saying one rotation a day so I'm going to just do two rotations a day and hopefully get through it. And that's, of course, with a veteran roster with most teams. I, I'm sure it's going to be longer with um, you know newer rosters. Shouldn't Bamboo or Dragons be Arena Rank Rewards? Yeah, this event is not working correctly. They're supposed to be uh, a bonus for placing well in the arena. And people's payouts have been happening. And this is bugged. Uh, it is appearing on their website says arena payout doesn't have event orbs we are investigating an issue where the arena doesn't have event orbs and payout. the team is working on a fix and then they will send compensation to the affected players boo fix your game thoughts on professor x being an apocalypse archetype character i don't think that's gonna happen i, I mean i think i put out a video where i was under the impression that then they put out a different post a blog post and they clarify but we'll read just a shower thought, but I had the thing professor coming to the game with the quadrants. Oh, man, looking at Canyon's website. What is the setting of perks being the next apocalypse with his own horseman style team? Not saying they're horsemen or anything like that, but just in the same vein. My understanding is that he was supposed to be more like Mephisto and it was going to be like Dark Dimension 8. Now, I do think that where the tie in could be is that the four quadrants could be requirements maybe they'll add a node you know like right now they have that mythic node maybe they'll add something on the end that uses these legendaries like old man logan something like that there was a po someone did quote exactly what they said while we can't reveal anything about his abilities right now we can say he's designed to fit into any team a true plug and play character so i'm not expecting him to be like well, I guess Apocalypse is plug and play, but I'm not expecting it to be like Apocalypse and the Four Horsemen is what I'm trying to say. I, I think it's going to be more like Mephisto. Um, I almost fall for it. I like this post. This post made me laugh. And go with me on this journey and, and just know that they did not fall for it. With the sub being filled with old man Logan requirement complaints recently, I was under the impression that most of us may have to skip the five-star unlock. My position has been pretty clear. Happy with the four-star unlock communication with Shady Delise. Uh, but we move on. Yeah, this is true. The communication was pretty terrible. So the strike pass revives and the strike pass came today. It got me tempted. Patriot is one of the three I don't have at four star and Black Knight shards are always welcome. I had the shards up and I realized I'd be close. And I got to collect my freebies on the web store and I'm flooded with star brand and cosmic Ghost Rider offers. Some of them perfectly designed to get me for five on both. So 30, I guess that's 30 pounds plus the 20 pounds for the strike pass. It's only 50 pounds, but I really do need them. Well, most people spam, but this so this is my chance. They'll separate me from the competition. I have the advantage. And this is the part that made me smile. Then it hit me. We keep questioning Scopely's competence, but really, they're just good at marketing. <laughs> they made me get a five-man old man. Learned such a problem. The idea of getting it when nobody else will seem pretty appealing. Anyways, I did spend. I'll be with the four-star unlock. Now, the only thing I will say, first of all, this post made me smile. Uh, but if you're going to buy um the battle pass that is generally going to be the best value in marvel strike force and th the problem is is that there's one a week total of four eighty dollars but if you're going to spend eighty dollars on marvel strike force my suggestion is to look there first and the battle passes my what i've been doing in this game lately is i've been buying the battle passes and then i typically will buy the least expensive offer when a new character comes out and that's where i stop and so i try i try to curb my spending under two hundred dollars Easier said than done. But anyways, lastly, can we just not have farmable characters and event orbs? Coring campaign energy for red in tooth and claw. Having to, hoping to draw shards for leader, patriot, black knight, cosmic rider, star brand, star bland. I like that. I like Karnak. 
But no, I can't have that. Almost every draw is Neymar, Loki, Emma, Captain America, Capricar. If the argument is the new players need these five characters, it's a terrible argument because all of them are farmable. Any characters that are not farmable in these temporary event orbs, so opening them is meaningful. I think what he's saying is he wants better access to these other characters. I feel like the orbs are designed in a way to not give these the characters. And if they removed these, they would just give us less of these. I feel like it's deliberate and it's an exact amount that they're trying to give us for. And they know this. I, I do feel like it's very measured and um, I don't like it. It feels bad. But on the other hand, I, I do need the Ultimus food. Um, I do like the Ultimus store and uh, getting characters in there. Like right now, I've been trying to get Spider Society out of there. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section as always. Thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Bye for now.